Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use some custom CSS to change the size of images specifically on the mobile version of your Squarespace website. Now the codes I'm using today work in both version 7.1 and version 7, so no matter what theme or version you're in, this is the right tutorial for you. There are a few things that you're going to want to change about this code to make it look perfect on your own website, so let's hop into my demo site so I can break it apart for you and you'll understand exactly what you're going to want to adjust to make it look perfect. Perfect. So here we are in my demo site. Again, these codes work in 7 or 7.1. I just happen to be in my 7.1 demo. So I have three images here. We've got Gus the Pineapple, Terry the Snuggler, and George. And when we go to the mobile version, they are pretty darn big. They take up a lot of the screen here. Um, it's really kind of difficult to see that you need to keep scrolling. And honestly, if you've got big thumbs, it'd be kind of difficult to scroll through here without clicking on the actual images themselves. So we want to reduce the size of those. I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now all image types in Squarespace respond to the code name SQS block image. So I'm just going to type that in there and open up a curly bracket. Now I'm going to say width, uh, let's go with 65%. That's going to shrink it down to 65% of the width that it was before. So you'll notice the images already got smaller. However, they're scooted all the way to the left. I wanted them to stay centered, so I've got one more piece of code to add here. I'm going to say margin auto. Doing that is going to center those images for me, so now I've got room to scroll on either side, and the images are much smaller and easier to see on this mobile version. But when we go back to desktop, it shrunk them on desktop too. We've got one more thing we need to add. At the very beginning of this code, I'm going to say at media only screen and open up a parentheses, max width 640px, close that parentheses, open up a curly bracket, and then I'll go all the way to the end here and add one more curly bracket to close that media query. You'll see my desktop just snapped back to where it was before, but if we hop into the mobile version, our changes are applied. What this code says is only apply this width adjustment and margin adjustment to those images on any screen that is 640 pixels in width or smaller. If you know anything about breakpoints or want to change that number, you totally can. 640 is just what I like to use for pixel width to make sure that it only applies on mobile devices, but adjust that however you see fit. The other two things you can adjust, uh, the width here I set to 65, you can make it 75 if you want it to be bigger, 50 if you want it to be smaller, and then margin is set to auto so it's centered. Feel free to adjust that as well. Alrighty, that's it for this super quick tutorial. Now there are some unique ways that you can apply this code to specific images, specific sections, or individual pages in your Squarespace website. I've got details all about that written in the blog post for this tutorial. So if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in the description below. Otherwise, if you're on my blog already, scroll down a little bit and you'll get some more information on how to specify what images you want to apply that code to. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.